welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today we'll be seeing uh, a new topic that is concept of health so what are the concepts uh, which are related uh, to the health and how people were perceived health over the last century so today we'll be seeing um, the various concepts related to health so uh, once Mahatma Gandhi said like this health that is real wealth are not pieces of gold and silver. So there is also a saying that health is wealth. So we know that uh, if we have how much wealth, if we are not healthy, there is no point. So health is uh, always very much important and maintaining a good health is a crucial thing in present scenario. Because in the last sessions when dealing with uh, modes of prevention and concept of disease, we had seen the health is not just a individual's uh, responsibility or he himself cannot maintain a good health if his environment is his social structure his relationship and all the decisions are not favoring a, or not promoting a good health so it is a multi-sectorial or intersectoral uh, combined effort should be there too uh, have a good health for an individual and for a society so world health organization has said or uh, defined health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being not just the absence of disease or infirmity so uh, health is a, a compilation of all the uh, dimensions of health that is physical mental and social so we cannot say that one person is healthy if he is free from disease he should be healthy in aspect of mental and social side so health is a very broad dimension definition as given by WHO so let's see how the uh, concepts as uh, defined health over the last century so health is not perceived by us in the same way by everyone or every professional groups like biomedical scientists they define health in their own way like social scientists will put on a social aspect and ecologists will add a ecological link between health and uh, the surroundings so everyone has their own aspect of defining health so we have basically four concepts from the last century the four concepts are biomedical ecological psychosocial and the most accepted one is holistic and the currently we are thinking uh, health in a holistic way okay so it started from biomedical then ecological psychosocial and holistic so let's see what is a biomedical concept of health so when we talk about health we are concentrating on an individual not on a group of people that we will be covering in the next session that is public health that is different thing how to keep a person healthy and how to keep a group of people healthy is two different concept so we can um, the by the definition itself the health and public health is entirely different so the biomedical concept says so we'll come back to the health concepts so the first one biomedical concept so traditionally uh, we believe that absence of disease is healthy so the biomedical concept also um, saying the same thing and it was uh, based on the scientific theory that is germ theory of disease we had seen in our last classes it was germ theory a germ uh, causes a disease okay that was completely based on the robert Koch postulates uh, germ theory uh, bacteria should be there or any other microbes should be there for a particular disease so it was uh, actually at the beginning of 19th century or at 20th century or at the end of 19th century so that time the available scientific evidence was only germ theory so it was believed that if you are able to prevent the germs entering our body or if you are able to maintain our surroundings or a personal body uh, germs free we are healthy okay 
so that just means absence of disease so the profession that time viewed human body as a machine and the disease is an outcome of breakdown of the machine but the problem was this concept has minimalized the role of environment social and cultural determinants because the environment has a key role because environmental factors are involved in most of the disease and the social roles are involved in most of the disease and the cultural determinants the cultural patterns are involved so all these factors are neglected by this concept that is biomedical concept okay so biomedical concept was soon replaced by the ecological concept so ecological concept saying that there should be a balance between man and his environment there should be a balance if there is a, a loss of balance or there is a breach in the equilibrium between man and his environment there will be disease so it is mainly stressed upon the outside environment of a person so how the outside environment uh, favors positive health it remains healthy if the environment is favoring disease or disease prone environment the person is not healthy so there should be always a healthy body and a healthy environment with respect to the ecological concept so that should be a equilibrium dynamic equilibrium between man and his environment so again it was replaced by psychosocial concept so the ecological concept also was just thinking the environment not about his uh, psychological aspect any other social uh, aspect so all these are coming into action when the disease pattern is changed uh, because uh, there will be a lot of advancement in social sciences over the time uh, goes by because this psychosocial concept uh, arriving at mid of uh, 20th century so that time uh, it was believed that biomedical phenomena is not very acceptable because uh, people have uh, started uh, getting chronic diseases or lifestyle diseases that was not uh, explained by the biomedical phenomena or ecological phenomena because social cultural uh, other lifestyle patterns are majorly determining the diseases so uh, people started or it was started thinking in a psychosocial aspect of health so health is influenced by social psychological cultural economic and political factors so all these factors must be taken into consideration so it is both a biological and a social phenomenon so holistic concept is the most accepted uh, concept of health this is a compilation or synthesis of all the above concepts that it includes biomedical, ecological and psychosocial concept. Because it recognizes the strength of social, economic, political and environmental influence of health. There will be definitely social uh, factors involving health because social strata, if a person belongs to upper class, if a person belongs to social class, Definitely it has an impact on his health. Better uh, way of living can prevent many of the diseases compared to the lower strata. And the economic gradient also has an impact on the many diseases. Because economically improved people, their uh, lifestyle, their awareness and their uh, the seeking uh, health care will be more compared to the other group. And the political factors, the government's political uh, decisions of uh, providing nutrients, providing vaccination and providing and promoting health is a big factor. The third world countries uh, where the malnourishment is very prevalent is a political factor. Because where the government is not able to provide the proper or adequate nutrients for the children. And the environmental influence a clean a good environment always promote health so all these factors are included in holistic concept
So it has described as multidimensional process involving the well-being of a person as a whole. So it is emphasizing on the promotion and protection of health because promoting health is not a part of any concept, the holistic concept. Always if somebody, somebody or someone needs to be healthy, the health promotion should be there. He can be a very good person or he maintains his, his health very well. He's well aware of his health. He knows everything about health. But there should be also a factor that his social, his environmental, his political, his cultural, all factors should be favoring a good health or a better health. Then only a health achievement, the definition given by WHO can be maintained. Because health is a state of not just absence of disease, it's a complete state of well-being that is social, physical and mental. All these factors should be considered thinking of health. So that is a holistic concept. So these are the concepts of um, so the four concepts of health. So first one was biomedical, second one was ecological, then psychosocial, and the last one was holistic. So that's all about uh, uh, the con changing concept of health. So the next class I'll be covering on the various concepts of public health. Thank you.